us in history, we found the unsung heroes whose story wasn't told, but who shaped the globe. Like Katherine Johnson, she was born without a silver spoon. West Virginia Mountain Town, 1918. That's the year she touched the ground. A black girl, born at a time when girls weren't prized for their minds, and black folk had to fight to survive under segregation laws that white folk had devised. And though there were many obstacles in the path, Katherine Johnson didn't let them hold her back. She was drawn to numbers and mastered math and took hard classes for the fastest track to college. She enrolled at age 15 when she graduated, what would she be? Meanwhile, a program had been created that would lead to the dream of space exploration. This was before computers had silicon chips. Computers back then had a pulse in their wrists. These women at NASA crunch numbers nonstop. Without them, the engineers couldn't do their jobs. The war broke out. Men saw firsthand that job discrimination was banned. So black women like Catherine join NASA, though segregation. Split the group in half on uh, different bathrooms, cafeterias, workspace, and equal treatment hurt in the worst way. She wrote the book, she yeah. made the way, she made the motto. She looked up at the moon and then asked us to follow. We fly so high, so far on the ground. Our unsung heroes, I can see them. Johnson was inquisitive. Always asked why, in the face of barriers, her dream didn't die. She never gave in, no, she wouldn't relent. Though some meetings seem only for men, Johnson asked if there was a law against women attending them, and then she went. By 58, America was face to face with the Soviets in the Cold War, race to space. The space race for Johnson, especially. Then she was calculating rocket trajectories, the paths they take, doing it right. Meant life or death for Alan Shepard's flight. He didn't orbit the Earth, but hey, he was the first American up in space on John Glenn's first orbit of the Earth. They used an electronic computer to make it work. But John Glenn said, no, don't launch me yet. I want Katherine Johnson to double check. And when Neil Armstrong took a giant step for mankind, well, you can bet that Johnson did the calculations to get the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. This computer was doing what they thought she could never do to me that's incredible and that's why i'm telling you she wrote the book she made the way she made